Rab's faith must be really strong. Today, what is Dan for the community? I've known Rab all my life. He's been very nearly a friend to me. It's great to see somebody helping others. I really admire that in a man. You do? You don't mind all that good shit you keep spouting? Oh, no. I'm a believer myself. Aye, me too. Oh, I can't get enough of all these dear guys and squeaky brogues tell me what a bad bastard I am. Ministers. Actually, I studied for the priesthood myself. Even wrote my memoir. Touching cloth. <laughs> Have you read it? No, but I think I'm getting a wee whiff of it right now. All right. I'm heading for a big time. Pray God, I'll soon be opening up Govan's first webcam pole dancing club. I've even got a name for it. Spearmint Wino. I might have known. How naive am I? Naive enough to get your kit off and jiggle your baps in my living room for a five or an hour? You think it? Hey, that's right up there with a minimum wage. <laughs> Pie in the sky. And if ever I open a branch in Portree, that's what I'm going to call it. Oh, here's Rab. This is nice, isn't it, Jamesy? Sitting on the couch, watching the telly. Oh, aye. Feet up, watching the telly, sweetheart. Aye, you can't beat it. Just one thing, though, Jamesy. What's that, Ella? Do you know find that pole down the middle of the screen a bit distracting? Pole, sweetheart? Oh, that! Aye, aye, uh, I meant to mention. Uh, council workies were in, and they offered us a pole to clamber up in in the event of river flooding, you know, so... Uh, you know, better be safe than sorry. Jamesy. I, I, that was a terrible way to go drinning, you know, floating down the Clyde all bloated up like an Ikea bean bag. The wings were chucking darts at you, trying to get you to explode. Oh. Jamesy, I'm going to count to a hundred, and see when I get to two. I want an explanation for that bastard in pole. Otherwise, I'm going to... All right, all right. I was going to open an, an online pole dancing club. It was meant to be a surprise. Pole dancing club? That's degrading to women. Aye, aye. But, but I was degrading them for us, sweetheart. <laughs> I mean, in time it'll make you our wee pension. You've really scraped the barrel this time. Pole dancing. It's repulsive. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Did Papa do bad? Tawdry sex, Dane. In my own living room. Have we still got that Barry White LP? <gasps> <laughs> Be man raped by the seven dwarves. And PC Plum through Balamori. Does your son have mental health issues? No, 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 he's just a youngster. I mean, so what? He got pissed and woke up bullock naked in a garden cellar. I mean, which one of us hasn't done that in one day? You know what I'm saying? All the same. <laughs> I mean, I'll bet you were a bit, you were a bit of a scallywag yourself in your time. Am I right? No, you can say that again. Drink, acid, hash, speed. I done there. <clears throat> He's in here. All right, uh, 
Put your clothes on for God's sake. I'm getting a punch. People flash back here. How'd you get on? Air. Air. What about air? There's too much air. Cause of fag. Take mine. Oh. Mm. Huh? March 26, 2006. A day that will live in infamy. The day the Scottish Government introduced a smoking ban. That is, it's not in the year governs 9-11. So cough it up, what happened? How'd the meeting go? Mm. Later, later. Mm. Take me cancer! I'm yours! Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's a neat knicker dropper, isn't it? That's in honour of Ravi Burns now. <laughs> Just to get the, the homecoming spirit going, kind of thing. <sighs> uh, I'm getting the feeling you don't want to bond. Who makes you say that? Well, you have a very eloquent sneer. Burns is old-fashioned. He's got nothing to do with me. That's garbage. Burns loved a drink. You're forever burning crack rocks. What would you prefer we say? You got a techno mixer, Bonnie Wee Jeannie McCall. <laughs> it's on the list, wise ass. Eh, hey, what about you, missus? You are done for arson, eh? Hey, what do you fancy? Relight my fire. <laughs> Relight my fire. You torch one nuclear reactor, they never let you forget it. Oh, calm down, it's just a wee bit of jovial banter, you know. Now, what are we all agreed about the annual January Depression? We are going to fight it, right? The chairman's right. I'm new here, but I know that we must support each other if we're to get better. Where's your story, bro? I'm a musician. I was in the Alistair Munt Orchestra. As the recession deepened, it became the Alistair Munt Quintet followed by the Alistair Munt Quartet, and then the Alistair Munt Trio. And now it's just me and him, and things are looking a bit dicky for one of us. Uh, call this a wild, crazy stab in the dark, but mm -hmm. I'm guessing you're Alistair Munt, right? Correct. And uh, what's your name, bro? I forgot it, but it is not Alistair Munt. And there you have it. A story of our times. I don't know about you, but the first thing to go in Urhus when the global economy collapsed was the string quartet in the lobby. Uh, are you sure you can't remember your own name? Give me time. It'll come back to me. Note to self. I always start with an easy one. Tommy Heron singularity. I have been Tommy Heron. Thank you and good night, Scotland. Uh. 